What's up, moist boys? It's your boy Tim here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be... Jackie, you done talking? Thank you. <laughs> Today we are going to be upgrading every single gun in Black Ops 3 Zombies on Shadows of Evil. Why Shadows of Evil? Why not Shadows of Evil, man? Such a good map. I mean, I was going to do it on the Giant, but I really got to save Darice for World at War because that's the only map in World at War you can actually upgrade on. So yeah, the essence of this series, this challenge, is to upgrade every single gun in every Treyarch game. We've done Black Ops 1 on Keynote or Toten so far. By the way, I'm only running Classic Gobblegum. You don't have to if you do this challenge, but I'm choosing to. Anyways, the essence, or the idea of this series, rather, is to upgrade every single gun in Treyarch Zombies. I'm headed in the wrong direction. Not literally every single weapon, because there are some map-exclusive weapons, and I'm not doing it on every map, so we're bound to miss a couple of them, but you, you get the general idea of this. Of course, we're going to do this on World of War with Darice, since that's the only World of War map you can upgrade on. We're going to be doing it on Black Ops 2. I haven't decided which map for that yet, and we're also going to be doing it on Black Ops 4. Haven't decided which map on that game yet, but Shadows, I felt as though, was a very appropriate map for this challenge. I love this map with every fiber in my being, and there are 28 weapons total we need to upgrade on this map, costing a total of 140,000 points just to upgrade them, let alone get them in the first place. Our initial objective is just like any other game of Shadows, to obtain Pack-a-Punch, so we're not doing anything too different in the beginning here. Let me see, we got a double points. Nope, okay, that's a little bit unfortunate, but that's fine. The perk setup is going to be interesting. Mule Kick would be a good option. I don't know if we're going to grab Mule Kick, because there are just a lot of good ones, and we have such limited slots. If I was running Unquenchable or something like that, it would make things a lot easier, but I'm not. Uh, we can't upgrade Lil Arnie's or the Apothecan Servant. I mean, I could upgrade Lil Arnie's if I was running Crate Power, but we can't do that. Okay, where's the last zombie? I'm just gonna... Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do the ritual first. By the way, folks, I have a new microphone. I was painfully aware of the fact that I was creating static and some distortion with my past microphone. It was a Blue Yeti. Blue Yeti is a great quality microphone, but it's definitely a step down from what I have now. I definitely got... A major upgrade, I hope. I hope you notice a boost in the quality. I can I can scream a lot louder now without it being distorted, which is great news for you guys. You guys get to hear um, me screaming at the top of my lungs whenever something minor happens that startles me. So, <laughs> so I'm very uh, I'm very pleased about that. Anyways, so yeah, this is gonna be quite the endeavor, quite an expensive challenge. It's not the most difficult. It's gonna be easier than than Kino. I think it took us like 40-ish rounds to get all of them on Kino. There were a couple of more, but on this one, we got 28. Let's see if we can do all of it. I am confident. Anyways, let's get this waterfront district open. I don't think we're going to have enough points to open up this entire district this round, but we can probably get to pack a punch by the end of round two if we use our, uh, our big boy brains. In the Black Ops 1 edition of this challenge, I asked you guys to leave your suggestions in the comments for the next episode, and I'm not gonna lie, most of you said Transit and Die Rise, and I'm really not feeling that. Uh, but we will see, I haven't really decided on that yet. I mean, when you really think about it, this is a lot like a regular game of Shadows of Evil, except we're not going for the Apothecan Sword. Typically, I go for the Apothecan Sword as soon as I open up Pack, but this time we're not gonna do that because it just takes a lot of time, and that's really not the focus of this. This isn't a high round, if it was, I would definitely go for the Sword, but it's just a little too far out of the way to do that this game, so we're going to avoid that. And that leaves us with a rocket shield. We need the fuses for the civil protector, and we're probably going to get the parts for the Apothecan Servant, but probably not going to build it, because I need those slots for the upgraded weapons for this challenge. But we'll see. I mean, the Apothecan Servant seems like a no-brainer, but I don't know if it is, because... The, the quicker we run through this challenge, the better. Margwa number one, dead. I think we have enough points to to get the rest of this open. Honest to God, I love setting up on Shadows. I love trying to perfect these beast mode runs. Let's go, baby. It's always very interesting. Okay, I think I got that. All right. God, I really missed this map. This map is four years old. Isn't that mind-blowing? That is crazy to think about. Four, okay, I got it. Oh, God, run, 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 run. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time. I probably will. Okay. You next. And I got everything. Sweet. Dude, I remember the early days of Shadows, and those were just some of the best memories I have in Zombies. 
having no clue what I was doing and just learning how to use beast mode and learning the ins and outs of this map. It's a very complex one, especially for a starting map. And I mean, you had the giant, which was a great juxtaposition. It was a simpler alternative, but I mean, learning shadows was just one of those experiences. Like you could tell Treyarch poured their heart and soul into designing this. I mean, this is a map that truly takes two and a half to three years to develop. I mean, this map is just a highly detailed masterpiece in my opinion. All right, let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it. Get this perfect beast mode right around the corner. People always forget to do that. Whenever I play with friends, they never go and shock that thing right there. And then this thing is still locked and we have to like wait more and more. It's so fucking annoying. Ah, I love my buddies though. Okay, I think I'm gonna get it. I think I'm gonna get it. I think I'm gonna get it. Hell yeah, we got everything. That's sick. So there's the mystery box. We're actually not going to be spinning the box until we obtain every wall gun. I think it's smarter to go for the wall guns first to get those out of the way, especially since the majority of them are point weapons that are going to help us. The more and more points we get, the faster and faster this challenge goes by. Points are the key, not damage, not high rounds. Points are everything, so those wall SMGs are going to be a huge helpful hand. Also the pods are going to be pretty helpful. They're going to get us some free weapons, so we got to keep an eye out for those. We can get a ray gun out of there, a man of war, I think the haymaker, bootlegger. There are quite a few weapons we can get out of there for free rather than spending the box. So that's going to be super helpful. Hey, Mama Magua, how you doing? How you doing, dude? All right, let's go. Always waiting. Always right on the staircase. Literally every single time. You're just so smart, Mr. Zombie. Mrs. Zombie, sorry. I'm actually really excited. I got an entirely new setup. I upgraded almost all of my equipment. I might do a tour of my setup. But honestly, I don't know. I, I don't like the, the idea behind those videos. In a way, it's sort of like, hey, look at all this equipment that I have that you don't. <laughs> it's like kind of showing off. I, I don't like that part of it. But if you guys are interested in the new equipment I got, perhaps, perhaps I'll display it. Otherwise, I don't think I'm going to. Black Ops 3 is definitely going to be significantly easier than Black Ops 1. I think we're going to get it done probably 5 or 10 rounds sooner, especially since there are less guns. 4 or less to be exact. But I'm not going to get my hopes too high. I'm not going to underestimate the challenge because this is a challenge after all. I mean, it is. it does require a little bit of thought and strategy. Ooh, okay, cool. Hey, Dick, how's it going? Yeah, just take it. I don't even want it. Oh, there's the Margua. Like I said, usually at this point, I would ride the tram, get those Apothecan Sword symbols, and start going through that. But we're not going to do that, so I guess we can go straight for our perks. We're going to get Quick Revive and Jug first. Then we'll likely start going after... I think I'm going to go for Widow's Wand. I think that's a play. But I'm not sure what that fourth slot will be. It'll either be Stamina Up or Mule Kick. Potentially Double Tap. There's a lot of good options. So few slots. But anyways, yeah. Um, after we get our perks, then we're going to start going for the weapons. i got to remember not to trade in my Bloodhound because I can't regain that Bloodhound. Once it's gone, it's gone. So i got to keep that and upgrade that in the first set. I'm going to be upgrading these guns in duos, in sets, and then trade them out in sets. All right, we're going to hop into beast mode and try to open up the rest of this area. I think we can do it. There isn't much else to do. Okay, oh, forgot about that. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, God damn it. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, no. Run, damn it. I think I got it. Oh my god, I think I may have opened up all of that. Well, we'll find out in a second, won't we? I am going to grab Widow's Wine because with that, I could get the free Gobble Gum. And what if I got like an Unquenchable as a free Gobble Gum? Then I could get another perk. So you got to spend money and make money. That's my philosophy. It's actually not my philosophy. I don't have a philosophy. Um, well, there's that part. And we did turn on Speed Cola. Not going to grab Speed Cola. The problem with Speed Cola in this game is it's sort of obsolete once you... Put on fast mags. So yes, we're gonna grab quick revive. Then we're gonna go grab jug. Unless it's in the canals district, because I haven't opened that up. Okay, we have to wait another round to get jug. In the meantime, I will upgrade. No, I'm not gonna upgrade anything yet. I'm just gonna buy more ammo for my RK5. I know that sounds kind of foolish, and it probably is, but I just want to have that security. I want that insurance. All right, so this is the last bit of area we get to open up with our beast mode, and jug is up here. So we're gonna grab jug, of course. And then we will start upgrading weapons. Maybe we'll grab Widow's Wine first. I don't know, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was so close. 
So close to death for like no reason. No, no, no! I swear to God, I swear to God. F fuck off. All right, well, with that being said, let's grab Jug. <laughs> wow, that was like unnecessarily close. Usually when I play this map, I would have these three perks and stamina up. But since this challenge requires guns, I might go for Mule Kick? And Double Tap is also going to be really helpful, but I don't know how helpful Double Tap is going to be if I'm just seeking points. So Double Tap probably is going to get ruled out. Let's see if we can get this before that mofo spawns over here. Two. Three. I think we did. I think we got it. Yep. Yep. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Hey, look, it's a parasite round. Oh my god, I missed the parasite so much. They add so much. Alright, well, hello. Oh god. Oh yeah, I forgot I have that Widow's Wine knife. Oh, and Death Machines are on this map too. I forgot that was a thing. These purple pods are coming up pretty shortly as well, so that's going to be superb. Alright, so with these two guns upgraded, that brings us to 2 out of 28, which is 1 14th of the way there again this challenge gets easier and easier and quicker and quicker as the rounds progress and the more points i get so the bloodhound turns into the meat wagon i think it's a lot like the mustang and sally dual wield explosive not very practical probably gonna get rid of it very soon as soon as i can i'm gonna try to keep guns and use them and show you guys that's another reason why i'm doing this challenge but you know, the weapons that aren't efficient enough for points and stuff, I'm probably going to trade out relatively quickly. The RK-5 becomes the Rex Caliber 115, so that's pretty cool. Let me just... Damn. That's the end of you. Oh, I have, I have a little checklist. I have a piece of paper here. It's so satisfying to cross them off. Well, let's just grab this and see what this is. Okay, um, board games. That's kind of lame, not going to lie. But better than nothing, I suppose. Probably not better than anywhere over here. I shouldn't have even taken that. Hey, Margua. Damn, that's so good against the Margua. Wow. I just gotta keep my distance, of course. If I get anywhere near this bitch, I'm gonna die. Wow. Come on, Margua. Damn! Look at that! And a nuke. Wait, how many points do I get for... Do I just get 10? That's, that's stupid. I should get 60, right? Or how many... However many boards I'm actually building not just 10 i'm gonna trade this out i just want in plain sight that's probably gonna be a little bit more helpful so we didn't get an unquenchable <laughs> i was, was kind of banking on that i don't think i'm gonna grab mule kick because if i go down i'm gonna lose a weapon and i don't know how much more efficient it's really gonna make me i think stamina up is sort of a better option again double tap isn't gonna be extraordinarily helpful again pr points over damage is my motto here so i think stamina up is the safest bet for our fourth perk. Yeah, like I said, we're not literally upgrading every single gun in Black Ops 3, but uh, most of them. I mean, the MR6 isn't on this map, so we, we won't get to that. There are a couple of wonder weapons we won't get to. I know there are some map-exclusive weapons like the Razorback, the MX Garand isn't on this map. Just a couple of them. I hate the meatballs so much. Why the fuck do these things even exist? All right, Boy Scouts, I think the next step in this process is to find two point-efficient wall weapons. Likely a Vesper, or a VMP, or a CUDA. Or an Elkar 9, because that thing exists. I think we'll grab the Elkar 9, and we'll grab whichever else is closer, like a VMP or a Vesper. I think we're going to go Vesper and Elkar 9 as our next setup. There's no specific order. It doesn't entirely matter. I want to try to use as much ammo as I can in these weapons before I trade them out. And that won't always be the case. Some cases, I'll just get rid of it. But for this case, I want to try to use this ammo first. Elkar 9... And we will grab the Vesper on our way down to the Rift. Not the only one that ever walks up to a perk and hopes it glitches out so you get a free one. Even though your slots are already filled up. Anyways, alright, cool. We got the Vesper and the Elkar 9. We're pretty close to 10 grand, so we'll, we'll honestly just head over there right now. The reason why I'm doing Classics only is because... I mean, some Megas would be helpful, but... Really, when you allow some Megas, you allow all of them. And... When you allow all the Megas, that means you have wall power, crate power, ephemeral enhancement, a lot of gobble gum that help you upgrade your weapons. So that really takes away from this challenge. All right, so with these two, that brings us up to 4 out of 28, which is 1 7th of the way there. I'm just going to execute you. The Elkar 9 becomes the Flux Collider 935, and the Vesper becomes the Infernus. So those are two substantially point-oriented weapons. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying anymore, but yeah, I'm gonna cross off two more. There we go. Death to the... No. No. Nuke. Okay. Alright, I'll just take it. I'll take it. I mean, ideally, I don't want nukes, but if I gotta, I gotta. Oh, cool. Carpenter. The day is saved, ladies and gents. 
God, every time I get a Carpenter in this game, I'm like, what the fuck? But when I get it in Black Ops 4, like, that's one of the few things that BO4 did right. I mean, when you get a Carpenter in that game, your shield gets replenished. And that's so... So underrated. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're not even going to build that. <laughs> that's so painful to not build it and have all the parts, but it's just not smart for this challenge. I mean, but then again, it's like an instant save me wonder weapon, but I don't want it to take up one of my two. That makes this process quite literally twice as long when you think about it, so... I don't think I'm going to grab it. Oh, you're going to make me jump for it, huh? All right. See how it is. Honestly, I know this sounds really stupid, but I feel like the Alcar 9 is underrated. I feel like every gun in this game is, like, the same in a way. Like, they're all so balanced. There's too much parity with the weapons in this game. I mean, everything is just even when you think about it. I mean, there aren't many genuinely bad weapons in this game. Maybe the Pharaoh. I mean, maybe the 48 Dredge isn't efficient with bullets, but, like, everything is so equal, especially with double pack. I mean, you can literally run anything and just have the same amount of damage output with that. So I, just, I feel like BO3 has the most even variety of weapons. Whether that's good or bad, I'm not entirely sure, but I've noticed that. See, the thing with the Rift is it's not the quickest, most efficient training area, but it does provide a lot of space and a lot of security, and I think I'd rather have that right now since I'm not really going for a high, high round. I'm just kind of chilling, booling. Okay, I'm trying not to grab the nuke. Okay, there we go. Sweet. By the way, all the parts that I'm cutting out are what you're seeing right now. Me just running around and shooting. I mean, you're not missing anything. I mean, this is probably going to be like two hours of actual footage, but it's probably going to be condensed to like 20, 30 minutes. I don't think it'll exceed that. I think I'm going to save all those purple pods for a lot later. Okay, do we got one more? Are you the last one? Let me toss out my widows. Okay, maybe that wasn't a great idea. I had four of them. All right, well, let's go. The bootlegger actually is a wall weapon. It's on the tram. But I'm not even going to grab that off the wall because I know I'm going to get that from Paul. I'll take the KN44 for now. And i got to find one more. And then right next to the CUDA, I'm going to grab that right now. Cool. So let's go upgrade both of these. And then we're going to try to run out of ammo with all of these as well. That is going to become the Crow CUDA. And the KN44 upgraded is the Anointed Avenger. So that's a pretty badass weapon as well. And that brings us up to 6 out of 28, which simplified would be 3 out of 14, or 3 fourteenths of the way there. I get points on the earlier rounds, so I don't have to later. I'm looking out for future Tim, because in the future, I'm going to be spinning that box a lot to get those final few weapons, and then I'm going to be like, yo, past Tim, why didn't you rack up more points? So, I'm doing that now. Did that motherfucker have the max ammo all the way down there in the abyss? Oh, he probably did! He probably took he took it down there with him. All right, well, no max ammo this round, folks. That's sort of a boner. So satisfying. Look at all those heads popping. Double points. Oh, that's so awesome. Double points, double points. Ooh, look at that, 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 look at that. Flawless, baby. Oh, of course, there's a max ammo. It's so bittersweet. I don't, like, want it, but I'm... Ugh, I gotta take it. I'm trying to run out. That's another max ammo, I swear to Christ. I was gonna bomb a school. No, I wasn't. I didn't say that. I'm joking. You know, I think I'm just gonna trade these out now. I mean, there's no point in just holding on and on and on. I'm just going to keep getting max ammos. So, I think we're going to try to save one. Are you the last one, ma'am? 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 Yeah, you're the last one. Alright, let's go grab a max ammo. Or, why did I say max ammo? Shield. This is the VMP. There we go. Alright. That's where it is. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to mix and match here. Get a shotgun off the wall, the KRM. So, I can have a point weapon and then have something. That's, that's not as helpful. It's kind of balance it out, I guess. I don't want two shotguns. That would suck. Alright, so the VMP becomes the Impaler, and the KRM becomes the Dagon's Glare. Hold still, you jackass. Alright, let's put that in. And that brings us up to 8 out of 28. Okay, alright, there's an insta-kill back there, I saw it. I gotta- eh! I gotta loop around. Do not hurt me! I will hurt you. I will hurt you if you- Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, daddy. Who am I talking to? Ah! I don't even risk that kind of shit. Oh, yeah? You want to stand still for me? Oh, thank you. There we go. Wait, is my shield gone? My shield is definitely gone. Okay. Well, we're going to trade out these two weapons right now. Unless we get a... Oh, look, a max ammo. You know what? I'm still going to trade these out. I don't care. All right, well, I'm going to go grab the M8A7 as one of them, just to get that out of the way. I know that's in the Canals District. I wonder if there are any other wall guns in this district that I haven't got yet. I don't think there is. Also, got to keep my eye out for those Civil Protector fuses. All right, well, 
Trade that out. You know what else I haven't done yet? The Shiva. Really despise this gun in every way, but I gotta get it at some point, and I may as well do it now. Well, it's less difficult. Okay, so... The Shiva, when upgraded, becomes the Cumulus Struggle, pretty self-explanatory there, and the M887 becomes the Unspeakable, so let's throw those bad boys in. Wow, oh my god, wow, nice, nice predictability there. Okay, so, that brings us up to 10 out of 28, which means we are 5 fourteenths of the way there, and that is some progress. I've said this in the past, I think the M8A7 is supremely underrated, one of the most underrated guns in zombies history. It's got a very good output damage ratio, and I think, well, right now I don't have double tap, but if I did, you know, this thing is just an absolute assassin. People don't like it because it's burst and it feels kind of funky, but I assure you it's definitely one of the better guns. People just don't really go for it. Okay, you want to fucking get out of the way? Let's get out of the way. Nope, we're not risking that. Okay, it looks like I need to go grab more gobble gum. You wanna fuck out of the way? I literally can't move. What am I stuck on? I'm stuck on nothing! Ah! What am I stuck on? Fuck off, parasite. Just fuck off. I swear to god, I swear to god. No, 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 no. Run, run. No, 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 no! Stay away. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna go grab Jug. I knew I was gonna down at some point. It's impossible to do these challenges without downing. I swear to God. No matter how good you are. You know what? If you do this challenge without downing, maybe I should just suck you. You know what? I'm not even gonna... No. No, 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 no. I know. I know how this works. I know that if I go up to grab Jug, I'm gonna get totally trapped. Because that corner is an absolute fucking death sentence. So I'm not gonna go up there right now. I'm gonna grab Quick Revive first. I'm gonna slowly... Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna grab this. And, um, then I'm going to slowly make my way up here. Good idea, Tim. Good idea grabbing that insta-kill. And then we're just going to slowly start taking him out. I'm a genius. Sometimes. Please don't spawn in right here. Look at that. They're just piling out of the fucking barrier. And I'm screwed. That is game over. I guess I'm going to have to try to run this way and pray to God that this motherfucker doesn't turn around and just end my career. Oh, okay, all right, all right, I hear you loud and clear. Okay, well that was a fucking disaster and we're about to use our final quick revive, so that's great. Really content with that and I love the meatballs! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. They spawned in before you. You know what, I always criticize Black Ops 4 about this. Them spawning in before you and predicting where you're going to be. They do it just as much in this game. Dude, honestly, fuck the meatballs. Fuck the meatballs. I'm so pissed right now, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's just like, once you go down once, and then you're just so vulnerable, and then you just down again and again and again, and it just gets more and more irritating. Just die! I don't know why there are so many zombies. It's around 24. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time I tried and failed this challenge. What I'm going to do is actually go for the Apothecary Servant and I'm going to grab Mule Kick instead of Stamina Up. I'm just going to sacrifice Stamina Up for Mule Kick. As much as I love Stamina Up, I think it's better, but Mule Kick is better for this specific challenge. This is really going to dent my points. I'm really starting to lose a lot of my points that I've accumulated. Rebuying all these fucking perks. Really irritating, but I got to do what I got to do. This is my final Quick Revive, and if I go down again and I won't have Quick Revive available to me, then... Perhaps I'll buy stamina up back again. I'm sorry for sounding so irritated. I just am. I definitely cannot be walking around with this upgraded Shiva expecting to get any help. I gotta go grab that Apothecary Servant. So let me go grab Mule Kick first, actually. And let's just try that. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try a new angle at this. Hello, Mule Kick. Never thought I'd say this, but welcome to the team. Now let's go build that Servant. Also, where is that... A silver protector fuse. Silver protector fuse as well. Okay, there we go. So we got the apothecary servant. We got these two shitty weapons. I didn't even know the Kuda was there. That's weird. Anyways, let's go trade these out. I have had enough of this Shiva already. It is absolutely the worst thing that's ever been made. The final wall weapon is the HVK30. There is also the bootlegger, but I'm gonna try to get that out of a pod. So what we're gonna do is go over to the HVK, which I think is here, and I don't know if it's any other location. Doesn't matter. Let's grab that. Hello, jackass. 
Let me kill you. Let's keep our eyes peeled for this. This is the final civil protector fuse. The M87 is right there as well. And we're going to go over to this pod over here and see if we can get a weapon from it. Something good. I will take that. That is something we need. This really is a challenge. It looks pretty easy, but I assure you it's not. In the Keen Under Toe End Edition, I had the Thunder Gun, and that really changed the scope of the game. I mean, that was the big impact. Not having that Thunder Gun, man, was it hard. But when you have that Thunder Gun, when you have that insurance, in this case, the Apothecary Servant, it's a lot more helpful. Anyway, so the Man of War becomes the Dread Armada, the HVK becomes the High Velocity Kicker. And that brings us up to 12 out of 28. The only thing that sucks now is if we go down and we lose Mule Kick, that is going to be quite a setback. But we have this weapon right here. I placed my fist firmly up this thing's ass, so that's a huge benefit. I don't like sacrificing my stamina up speed, but I think, I think it's important to try something new. You know what the definition of insanity is? Trying the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. This would be insanity if I didn't try something new. Now, wouldn't it? You guys, of course, see the final product. You guys see the video in which I succeed. Spoiler alert, <laughs> I succeed in the challenge if you're watching this video. I fail oftentimes, and you never see that footage, of course, because I don't want to upload a failed attempt. That's sort of lame. It's just like you you expect me to finish it, and then you just... And I, I don't, <laughs> and then the video ends. That'd be a giant kick in the balls. We have a little bit of catching up to do. I mean, I mean we still have a very substantial amount of points right now, but it, it would be ideal if we didn't waste all of our points regaining our perks earlier, so... We need to work on that a little more. I re-grabbed my shield, and now I'm going to place the Civil Protector fuses in here and probably call him in in a couple of rounds. Not quite yet, but I'll probably have him assist me in a little bit. You sloppy dead bitch. Okay, just roll off again. <laughs> what is it with these meatballs and just rolling off? They're like, oh, I don't want to die. I'm going to just roll off. And there goes my max ammo. All right, well, this is the final part of the map I haven't checked yet, so let's see if it gives us any weapons. Okay, nothing but drops. So, that's a little irritating, but not, I mean, not really. We'll just go spin the box. Before we do that, actually, let's grab that. It's kind of a pricey wall weapon. Just give me something I haven't got yet. The odds are in my favor right now. ICR. Oh, look, I already have the ritual camo on it. It's already upgraded. Haha. <laughs> so the bootlegger becomes the Einstein, and the ICR-1 becomes the Illuminated Deanimator, and with that... The assault rifles are wrapped up. That is the end of the ARs that we need to upgrade. And we're pretty close to having all of the SMGs upgraded. And the handguns are all gone as well. So that's the, the, the status update. The number, uh, we have 14 out of 28 now. So we're officially halfway there. And it's going to get easier and easier. All right, we got a final zombie. And now we're going to go grab some more box weapons. That's all we have left. We don't have any more wall weapons at all. And maybe if those purple pods... Uh, come back. I've used all of them. If they come back, we'll try for those again, but okay, uh, we don't need that, but I guess I'll take it. Draken, perfect. Alright, that's one weapon we need. If you hit me one more time, I will literally send you to another dimension. And we got the Locust. Okay, two snipers, really not ideal. I think what I'm gonna do is just upgrade these and get rid of them right away. Neither of them are point weapons, but I do need them, so I'm not gonna keep them. Sniping is not my goal here. <laughs> But, um, we'll come right back to the box after we upgrade him. The Locust becomes the Arithmic Dirge, and the Draken becomes the Behemoth. So, did you just fucking crawl out of the ground right there? Anyways, with that, we have 16 out of 28, which is 8 fourteenths. So we're pretty close. Give me something good, please. Give me something good, please. That's not very good, is it? I think we might have enough points to get the rest of these weapons and upgrade them. I'm not entirely sure, though. We will see. I wouldn't even be opposed to getting little Arnie's. Wow. Okay, that was. I promise you, that was. That was total luck. Okay. Anyways, um, I want to shoot you so fucking bad. Please, BRM. All right, that's something that we need. I better turn around, and there better be Nargus. Nope, a Gorgon. Okay. Um, uh, the Gorgon's not good for points. I'm pretty much gonna get rid of that immediately. And you know, I'm gonna do the same with the BRM as well. I mean, the BRM is actually pretty nice, but. I just want to try to fly through these. What's interesting is, in Black Ops 3, there are wall weapons on some maps that aren't on others. I mean, the Pharaoh is a wall weapon, but not on this map. And same thing with a couple of others, like the Argus and 
others. <laughs> uh, so we get the Blight Oblivion, and we get the Athena Spear with these two, and that brings us up to 18 out of 28. I mean, the problem with the Gorgon really is when you shoot this thing, you're essentially stuck to the fucking ground. I mean, look at this. You just... You cannot move, so uh, it's really just not even worth keeping, and the RM is pretty good, like I said, but, uh, I'd rather have something else. Let's go, give me something good, please. Little Ironies is actually so good to have, though. Uh, we need that, the Haymaker. That is something we need. I usually get that out of the pod, but it's okay, as long as I have it. And what is this going to be? Yardagoose! The most slept-on gun ever. So underrated. I mean, nobody really likes lever action, but it's okay. With these two weapons, that's going to bring us up to, let me check, 20 out of 28, which means we only need eight more weapons. These are shotguns. They're not great for points. They are good for damage, but damage in around 29 doesn't mean much anymore. So we're, especially without double tap. So the Argus becomes the Ancient Messenger, which I could actually keep that, but just got to fly through these shotguns. And the Haymaker... 12 becomes the shoe shining 100 i believe yes that's what it becomes all right boy let's go yeah i can tell this is going to be a significantly shorter than the black ops one edition okay 48 dredge i needed that that's a decent pickup oh you hate to see it i mean the less and less weapons we have to get the harder and harder it is to obtain them okay so we got the pharaoh now and we need both of these, so let's go upgrade them. And I, again, am just going to cycle through these. They are not good for points or damage, to be honest. They're just passing stones. And with these two, that's going to bring us up to 22 out of 28, which is 11 fourteenths of the way there. Very, very good. I think the Pharaoh, when upgraded, becomes the Whispering Regurgigator, and, or something like that. And the 48 Dredge becomes the Trapezohedron Shard. So... These are not great weapons, but I'll take them. Ooh, 205 Brecky with the Ritual Camel already on it. Well, we needed that, and please, just something else. I definitely don't have enough to complete this by the end of this round, but if I can get a point wake waker. Weevil, I needed that. Okay, I think that might be the last SMG it is. When we upgrade the Weevil, it becomes the Barrage, and when we upgrade the Brecky, it becomes the Stellar Screech. And I think I'm going to keep these weapons and survive round 30 with them. This will be good for points. This will be good for damage. I didn't want to double pack that. That would have been kind of a waste. And yeah, we're going to continue on and do one more round of this. I think we can pull through. By the way, that brings us up to 24 out of 28, which means we need four more weapons. The Ray Gun, the XM-53, the SVG, and uh, the Dingo. Yeet! Look at that. Ooh. Death to the crawlers! Death to all, actually. Death to all of you. The barrage is actually kind of low-key good. Raygun. That is something I needed. Very, very good. Now I just need one of three other weapons left. What will it be? It will be the SVG, which was something I needed as well. The SVG, when upgraded, becomes the Ikin Hisatsu, which sounds like a Japanese heart attack. And then the Raygun becomes the classic Porter's X2. And I'm probably not going to keep these. I'm going to try my very best to obtain the last two. That brings us up to 26 out of 28, which is pretty dope, if I do say so myself. Got that. Throw this in. Not let the zombie touch me inappropriately. And we'll go right back to the box. Look at this. Bang. Honestly, really good for damage. Oh, I almost slid off. I almost fell off. Oh my god, that scared me so bad. Maybe you could get the XM53 out of one of the pods. Maybe a red pod or a normal pod. I know on Zetsubo you can get the XM53 out of the plants. So, I mean, that's a possibility. I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to keep spinning the box. i got to get that dingo anyways. And I actually do think you can get a dingo out of the plant or the pods as well so i don't know please i beg of you <gasps> dingo yes okay we got that i'm gonna keep that if i can just get this xm53 i will literally cream my pants i'm actually not wearing pants right now you never heard that it's gonna come down to the launcher again which is kind of odd it's like you always get them when you don't need them but when you need them nowhere to be found come on oh oh you hate to see it did it go down there again Again? That's the third time! 
Dude, that's actually, like, kind of ridiculous how I've missed three max ammos. But look at me complaining about max ammos now when I was complaining the whole game I didn't want them. That's still kind of bullshit how they automatically go down there. It's It just it automatically happens every time, and there's, like, no preventing it. It just means that I no longer have Arnie's now, which is, like, kind of a big deal. Because Arnie's are my bay. Well, there's no Margua, and I think we're going to be able to accumulate quite a few points this round. So, I think this will be the round where we finish everything, assuming I get the XM out of the box. That's never a guarantee. Really? Okay, well, he's gonna die now. Really inconvenient, actually. Because that means the round's over, and Amargo's probably gonna spawn in. That's just- Ah, oh, God, please give me the XM53. I have to go another round, because this motherfucker ran into me. Let's see it. Let's go. Give me something. Give me something. Uh, 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 uh. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Come on, XM53, baby. XM53, baby. Nope. <gasps> got it! Got it! Yes! Yes! Okay, these are the final two weapons. I just gotta go upgrade them, and then the challenge is completely over. Be oh so fucking careful, Tim. Be so fucking careful. Okay. Okay, alright. Well, speaking of being careful, we're gonna throw that in. That brings us to <gasps> nuke, nuke. This gives us the helical and cadence, whatever the fuck that says. I don't really know. And the dingo upgrade. It gives us the dire wolf, and that is 28 out of 28. 100% of the challenge is completed, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. The next episode could be World of War, it could be BO2, it could be BO4. I don't really know. I'm just doing it in a random order, because you know, doing it in the correct order would be too easy. Really, what happened was I did the first Black Ops 1 edition, not intending to make a series of it. And now it is, so. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. And.